so hi guys this evening I'm just going on a little drive out There's nothing much to do on a Sunday, so me just a drive out. So we're heading to Spring Gardens. If you never know about crop over, you're not gonna know where Spring Garden is. So, anyways, over here on your right is Mount Gay. Yes, so that's the big bad Bajan rum. And I think the name of a spring gardens and it's now called the mighty what are the name again? Yeah, highway. So over there as you can see is the dock. If you look closely you see a ship right there. So due to the whole coronavirus, you are not seeing like a lot of ship out there and thing, but normally before COVID you would normally see a lot of them dock out there. So yeah, that's the dock over there so we're heading down to the highway and across on the highway them have um where the stadium name again the oval yes where they would normally play cricket i'm gonna show you guys i'm not going to pass directly by it but i'm just going to show you this is a Esso gas station. You don't know Esso gas station, bigger Jamaica. I guess the last time I was there, anyways. So right over there is Kensington Oval. So normally, when we have like a lot of cricket events, all the tourists and locals would go there and watch the cricket match. So this is what Barbados look like on a typical Sunday. It's not really much movement and thing, you know. Just a lazy Sunday. Yes, so we no can say we no know no 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 way a Barbados. We no know Kensington Oval. I think the building is just unique. Yeah, so we're passing the oval. And those little shops, they would be flocked with tourists whenever they have cricket. And we're coming down. You would just see a lot of businesses on the side of the road and stuff. Oh, guys, and I think you have a chef down here, so right? Yes. And that is where the newspaper company is. So one of newspaper company it's still there oh yeah it's, it's still there we are heading in town they recently put this here this that's two dollars two cents 20 yeah cents. 20 cents guys me off blind me can't see but anyways they really they recently put that and you have the general post office right over there hi guys so me come out of the car to you know, giving a little view of the heart of the town, Bridgetown, Barbados. So I have a special guest that I want to share with you guys today. Just a moment. So right over there, as you can see, there's a statue. And this statue that you're looking at is Mr. Errol Barrow himself, which was the first Prime Minister of Barbados. You know that normally you would have someone of great importance whenever you visit a city or a heart of a country. So here we have Mr. Errol Barrow himself sitting right across the river. You can see along the river, you got some little yachts or boat park up, you know, the big bad yachts. give you a ride along the little river and think for a Sunday yeah so 
I'm just trying to see what else I can show you guys because Bridgetown is such a beautiful town. There's a lot of things to, to see. Me don't show you guys the bus terminal. So no know where to get the bus when you guys come here or if you're here and don't know the bus terminal is right across from the river. Guys, bus take long past Sunday. So yes. So I'm just sharing a little bit of the town with you guys. So guys, I'm going to take you across the other side. I want them to should I go to my right or to my left? Hmm. Which side more important? No, not important. But anyways, we are going to decide here. Yeah. Next time in my account, if I want to a little private yacht. As you can see over there, the sun is actually setting. Beautiful. Or if you come in town and you feel like hanging out, there's always some benches here. You could just sit down, you know, enjoy the scenery and stuff like that. Watch the cars if you're interested in cars because you're just passing right over there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trolling guys, you know, like me a goody, go on goody. Yes, I'm going to go and take a picture from the rail, you know. If you know some love climb, if you watch the other video, you would see where I climb the lion, so I'm going to try and climb. Don't laugh. As you can see, the sun is setting and it's getting dark out. Um, so this is Mr. Errol Barrow himself. I'm just going to give you guys a little history about him, right? What is, you know, now look upon somebody of greatness. So I'm just like, give us something about him. So Mr. Errol Barrow was born in 1920. He was one of five children of his mother and is actually related to another person of importance in Barbados which is Charles Duncan O'Neill. You can find him on the $10 bill. So I'm just going to give you guys a little scroll across the park, Independence Square. You know I'm taking you guys on a little educational, you know, little field trip kind of vibe. So this is the square they have a, a little church going on around there and you know I guess people is just trying to get home and you have a little man there he's just scrolling you know enjoying the view so this is the square so across from the square guys you can actually find the library, a library. So if you're in Barbados and you're looking for a library, you can always come to the main parish, the main town, which is Bridgetown, and you will find the library. Once you see Mr. Errol Barrow himself, then you know that, oh, Jules did tell me, say, the library is right across the street. So, yeah, guys. So this is just a little glimpse of Independence Square. Mr. Errol Barrow, he's the father of independence. And if you don't understand what I mean by he's the father of independence, he's the reason Barbados gained independence. November the 30th, 1966, that is when Barbados became independent and Errol Barrow himself had a lot to do with Barbados becoming an independent island. So you might hear the water or uh, water in behind me or you know so there's actually a little waterfall going over here for a little scenery so I'm gonna move over here so and see where all boat you know I'm 
Thank you guys for staying until the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember that you can go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comment section. So in case you have any questions on, you know, Barbados, how to get here, because I have a video on how to get to Barbados. You can go ahead and check that out. So guys, this is your girl Jules, you don't know, and this is Journey with Jules. Until next time, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so anytime I post the next video, you'll be notified. So thanks for the support, big up my supporters, them, bye, I'm out.